Hi everyone, welcome to Edcare. In this video, we are discussing about electric charges and fields and it is the second episode of this chapter and if you haven't watched the first episode yet, I had given the link in the description. You can check it out. Okay, now let us begin with the topic. The topic in this video is electrification and types of electrification. In the previous video itself, I have defined the electrification but now also let me define it again. The definition of electrification is like this. The process of charging the neutral body or uncharged body is called electrification. Okay. Now, the type of electrification, there are three types, conduction, friction and induction. Let us begin with conduction. Okay. Uh, conduction means there is a direct contact between or a physical contact between uncharged body or a neutral body with the charged body. The charged body may be positively charged or negatively charged. Okay. Now, whenever there is a direct contact between the uncharged or neutral body with the charged body, then charges from the charged body get transferred to the neutral body. This process is called conduction. Arthaita, general example in the code iron rod and metal 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 rod and body rod and metal 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 Sorry, na. This is conduction. That's the conduction. Sorry. Next. Next. Uh, friction. We have studied what is friction in the first year. Friction is a force which opposes the relative motion between the two objects or two bodies. Clear? Now, here we are using the method of friction. The same concept. We are using the same concept for charging the bodies. Clear? Yavarita and Tadriga. Yavadarundu, okay, accident and no ritter, accident adaga, and the metal bodies hit agirata, and the car hit it on the metal bodies hit agirata. So Yav partly hit agirata and re collide agirata, our part heat agirata and resolpa, busy agirata. We all have seen that. And another one thing, lightning, lightning adaganagata, clouds collide agata, avaga, and agata charges develop agata. And uh, in the textbook, they had given another one example. When we rub a glass rod with a silk cloth, then the glass rod gets positively charged and silk is negatively charged. I think the method of friction also clear now. Now the last concept, which is the uh, induction. In the first two cases, we have seen that there is a physical contact between the two objects. Means uh, in the conduction also there is a physical contact between uncharged body or neutral body with the charged body in the friction also when two body uh, the, when there whenever there is a uh, relative motion between the two bodies then one body is get positively charged and another body is get negatively charged but in induction there is no physical contact between the neutral body and charged body but we use this process means uh, induction process to charge the uncharged or neutral body uh, to understand it we have to draw a diagram so give me some time to draw it okay okay now to understand the process of induction or the procedure of induction we have to draw this diagrams okay uh, before going to the procedure we have to know one property of a charge and that property is like charges repel and unlike charges attracts okay now like charges are those which have a similar kind of charges for example uh, okay before that we know that there are two kind of charges one is a positive charge and another one is a negative charge now if there are two positive charges or more than two positive charges it may be thousand or more than that then we can say that it is a similar charges or like charges okay similarly if there is a two negative charges or more than two negative charges it may be thousand or more than that then we can say that these are like charges okay now what is unlike charges there is one positive charge and another one is a 
negative charge then we can say that it is an unlike charge clear okay now remember the property that is like charges repel and unlike charges attracts means if there is a if there are two positive charges they repel similarly if there are two negative charges they repel but if one is positive charge and another one is a negative charge it attracts clear okay now there is a body a which uh, which is a conductor and uh, it is a neutral body we know that neutral body is one which has equal number of positive and negative charges clear now we are bringing a another body which is b which is positively charged clear a body a is neutral and a body b is a body b is positively charged when uh, let us consider uh, it is a body a and it is a body b we are bringing the body b towards a okay we are bringing a charged body towards the uncharged body okay now this positive charged body separates positive and negative charges because like charges repel and unlike charges attracts so this body has both positive and negative charges then this positive charge repels the positive charge in this body on the other hand this positive charge attracts the negative charge in this body so uh, negative charges arises on the face of this body which is close to the body b and positive charges arises on the opposite side okay uh, the charges in this neutral body get separated okay then we are keeping the body as it is okay then we are grounding the grounding the body a clear now for a minute okay grounding is a procedure or a process in which we are transferring the excess of charges to the earth or we are getting the charges to this body to neutralize the charges on this body <coughs> in all the aspects in all the aspects only electrons moves because we know that because we know that nuclear force is the strongest force in nature so uh, we know that proton is situated in the nucleus so separating the new uh, proton from the nucleus is difficult but electron is revolving around the nucleus and separating the electron from the atom is easy so we always consider the moment of electron not proton okay and earth is a universal conductor so upon adding the charge to the earth or getting the charge from the earth doesn't alter the charge or equilibrium of earth clear okay now when it is grounded this is the symbol of grounding now it is grounded means uh, a wire is connected to the earth ಇದು ಈ ಪ್ರೊಸೆಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ನಾವು ನೋಡಿರ್ತೇವೆ ಯಾವಾಗ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಅರ್ದಿಂಗ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಗೊತ್ತಿದೆಯಾ ಮನೆಗೆ ಅರ್ದಿಂಗ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಈಗ ಮನೆ ಮೇನ್ ಸ್ವಿಚ್ ಏನೇ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಅದನ್ನ ಅರ್ದಿಗೆ ಕನೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಯಾವಾಗ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಎಕ್ಸೆಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಚಾರ್ಜಸ್ ಅಥವಾ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಬಂತು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಅದು ಅರ್ತಿಗೆ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫರ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಓಕೆ ಈಗ ಅರ್ತಿಗೆ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫರ್ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ನಾನು ಈಗಾಗಲೇ ಹೇಳಿದ್ದೆ ಏನು ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಮೂವ್ ಆಗೋದನ್ನ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೇವೆ ಸೊ ಯಾವುದೇ ಒಂದು ಕಾರಣಕ್ಕೂ ಕೂಡ ಪ್ರೋಟೋನ್ ಮೂವ್ ಆಗೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಮೂವ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಯಾಕೆ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಈಗಾಗಲೇ ಇಂಗ್ಲೀಷ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಹೇಳಿದ್ದೆ ಏನು ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯಸ್ ಒಳಗೆ ಪ್ರೋಟಾನ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಂಗೆಸ್ಟ್ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಅದಕ್ಕೋಸ್ಕರ ಪ್ರೋಟಾನ್ ಅನ್ನ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯಸ್ ಇಂದ ಹೊರಗಡೆ ತೆಗೆಯೋದು ಡಿಫಿಕಲ್ಟ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಅದಕ್ಕೋಸ್ಕರ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಅದು ಔಟ್ರ್ ಶೆಲ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಆ ಒಂದು ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಅನ್ನ ಈಸಿಯಾಗಿ ಹೊರಕ್ಕೆ ತೆಗಿಬಹುದು ಅದಕ್ಕೋಸ್ಕರ ಅರ್ತ್ ಇಂದ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಈ ಒಂದು ಕಂಡಕ್ಟರ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫರ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಈಗ ಮೊದಲೇನಿತ್ತು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಪಾಸಿಟಿವ್ ಚಾರ್ಜಸ್ ಇತ್ತಾ ಓಕೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಹೊರಗಡೆ ಬಿಡಿಸಿದೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಒಳಗಡೆ ಬಿಡಿಸಿದ್ದೇನೆ ಆವಾಗ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫರ್ ಆದ ನಂತರ ಇದು ನ್ಯೂಟ್ರಲೈಸ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಥವಾ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸಲ್ ಔಟ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಸರಿನಾ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸಲ್ ಔಟ್ ಆದ ನಂತರ ಏನು ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಈ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಏನಿದೆ ಈ ಗ್ರೌಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಏನಿದೆ ಅದನ್ನು ರಿಮೂವ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ರಿಮೂವ್ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ಏನಾಗಿದೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಇದೆ ಪಾಸಿಟಿವ್ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಏನಿದೆ ಆ ಪಾಸಿಟಿವ್ ಚಾರ್ಜನ್ನು ಈ ಅರ್ತಿಂದ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಫ್ಲೋ ಆಗಿ 
ನ್ಯೂಟ್ರೈಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಈಗ ಈ ಬಾಡಿ ಬಿ ಏನಿದೆ ಅದನ್ನು ರಿಮೂವ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಇದನ್ನು ಗ್ರೌಂಡಿಂಗನ್ನು ಕಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದರು ಅಥವಾ ಇದನ್ನು ಸಪ್ರೇಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದರು ಈ ಬಾಡಿ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಇದೆ ಈಗ ನಂತರ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಬಿ ಅನ್ನೋ ಬಾಡಿ ಏನಿದೆ ಅದನ್ನು ಸಪ್ರೇಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದರು ಅವಾಗೇನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ಚಾರ್ಜಸ್ ಆನ್ ಎ ಬಾಡಿ ಎ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ನಾವು ದ ಓಕೆ ದ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಆನ್ ಎ ಬಾಡಿ ಈಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿಬ್ಯೂಟೆಡ್ ಈಕ್ವಲಿ ಇನ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಏರಿಯಾ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಆಲ್ ದ ಸರ್ಫೇಸ್ ಏರಿಯಾ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಬಾಡಿ ಎ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ರೋಸೆಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಂಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ರೋಸೆಸ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಎ ಫಿಸಿಕಲ್ ಕಾಂಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಅನ್ಚಾರ್ಜ್ಡ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ನಾವು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಫ್ ಎನಿ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಸಮರೈಸ್ ದ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ವೀಡಿಯೋ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಡೂ ಇಟ್ ಇನ್ ಎ ಕಮೆಂಟ್ ಬಾಕ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎನಿ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಗಿವ್ ದ ಫೀಡ್ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಎನಿ ಸಜೆಷನ್ಸ್ ಟು ಇಂಪ್ರೂವೈಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ವೀಡಿಯೋಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ಗಿವ್ ಇಟ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂ